What's up YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a lesson I wish I had when I was diving into this whole Grateful Dead journey. And it's basically that even though it's cool to play all these cool notes over these solos, sometimes less is more. And by hitting the root of the chord or the third degree of the chord, you can outline what you're saying in a more clear and maybe more efficient way. So let's jump into it. So I just finished a couple Zoom slash Skype lessons. And this is a solo that I think a lot of us would have benefited from in the beginning of our journey in this Grateful Dead music world that we love so much. And that is, though we see people like Garcia, Mayer, Trey Anastasio, or Scott Metzger, or Tom Hamilton, or Jeff Matson playing all these incredible, intricate solos over some songs, we can strip all that to just root and third degrees of the chord and still make a great solo that you hear the changes in perfectly. So let's take I Know You Rider. Chords being D, C, G, D, right? The B part being F, C, F, C, E minor, back to D. Now, a lot of us, including myself, just want to go in on that. Want to be like, man, I want to say all this stuff over the solo. I want to dominate it. But maybe less is more. So let's just play that same changes, the D, C, and G, just with root and third. We played root of D, walk up to root of C, half step down, third degree of G, back to root of D. Right? And we play the changes with just three notes, D, C, and B. Now over the D chord, let's add two notes. Over the D now, we did D, E, F sharp, E, back to D, A, B, C, B over the G chord, back to D. And we said everything we had to say over those chords. Let's take this exact same mentality over the F, C, F, C, E minor, and D. Again, only playing root and third degrees. Right? So we'll take it from the from the D chord. One more time the D. Here comes the F. Something as simple as that, and you could still hear. Because 
to get there, we're playing D, E, F, root of F, half step down to the E, which is the third degree of that C chord. F root again, E, third degree of C, jumping up a minor third to the G on the eighth fret of the B string. That third degree of that E minor chord, half step down, F sharp, third degree of the D chord. So you play your, your whole solo with just root and third degree. So all that together, for example. This is something I think I would have so benefited from if I learned this before learning all these scales, before doing... just known that all that is cool but you could strip it down to the essentials of the chord tones the root third root and the third dictates whether your chord is major or minor because if we're playing that e but we hit the g sharp that would indicate one wrong note, also an E major, not an E minor chord. So all your friends, all your chord tones, all your solo. fire the exact same thing. Root, third, are your friends. Amazing to do. That's awesome. But if you can take all that away and in the heat of the battle, just play your root. It could.
could make for a more memorable singable solo because this could be your basis. <laughs> And then you just add some notes around it. Because, yes, it could be boring just repeating yourself with root third, but you could just add some notes around it just to spice it up. But the essence of it, root third. If you take those excess notes away, root and third will dictate what's happening. notes here and there and you ruled the world so i hope the takeaway at this lesson was don't be afraid to take your ten thousand notes and bring it to a couple because the couple notes may be much more powerful and much more memorable than the solo of you trying to show everything you know root and third are your friends and that is this improv lesson on I know you rider how you can strip it all down in the solo section from just a lot of notes to root third and you dominate this song all right guys that's today's lesson on how sometimes saying less is more effective than playing a ton of notes. Again, root and third of your chord are your best friends. So that is today's lesson. If you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.